Well, that's why water is superior. Because water turns water turns things into water. I mean, I said it was going to happen. I wonder what it's raining. Beautiful. Holy shit. That was beautiful. All right, welcome to the stream. If you're just catching me for the first time, make sure you uh, follow me here on Twitch and go ahead and subscribe on YouTube as well. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, please give me a thumbs up in the video. It would help out a lot. Uh, we're going to do some more cavern skip attempts. Getting this a little bit down. This is kind of a good way to increase overall speedrunning skills. Getting a little better at that angle. Can I put myself out with snow potion? Not really. Now, I'm not actually going fat. Fuck me, jeez. Okay. Alright, well. <laughs> this is a scuffed attempt. Right out of the gate. Um, I'm still doing, like, a fair amount of... Jeez. Not good that I'm already at glowing red health. Uh, still doing a fair amount of exploring to try to mitigate the... the difficulties of, um, of this particular route. I still find it a little bit intriguing that... Now, what is this? This is Invisibilium. Yeah. Who had the dynamite? Somebody had a dynamite wand. Did I fall down here? Oh boy. 7 HP. Very spicy. Oh, he's dead. Fucker. How well is this working? I'm gonna die. Shit. <clears throat> I feel like I had more luck with pheromone. <laughs> Putting fire out with pheromone than, um... That's a little bit far. Ah, oh, man. That angle is not the easiest. This face, this place seems, feels exceptionally secure. Is that, like, there's very few routes? What's that about? I don't think I've seen that modifier yet. That biome mod. Oh, I'm not smart. That wasn't a dynamite wand. That's what those enemies just do. Oh. Is that an egg? It's an egg. I don't need... I don't need an egg. I can pass on... Oh, that's what this means. It means that it has those, um... Those hisi based things. Okay, well... It's freezing liquid, I guess. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, there's more of them here. Interesting. I don't think Noita's gotten a patch in a while. So maybe I just haven't seen that bio mod before. certainly enough to freak you out under normal circumstances. Whoa. Come over here. Come on, buddy, you coward. Do they... I wonder if they can actually sense water. 
and run away from it. All right, he's uh, um still wet. All right. Can I kill these guys? Yes. I can. Nice. Dude. These guys get a lot more dangerous once they start spitting out the acid dudes. Shit, shit, shit. Wrong wand. Wand management, man. Alright, well, we're gonna pretend that was all intentional. I think freezing liquid will work on the lava. God damn it. That was a very shitty juke. Well. If the freezing liquid does. Ooh! doesn't work, then the blood will. Acid, I don't think does. No. Yeah, okay. Freezing does work. That is a use for freezing. Blood will put out fire, so I guess I should prefer... Oh, this is an advantage to this. God damn it. Alright, it's a bit of a fucking mess. It's a bit of a shit show. Did I mention I'm getting better at this? <laughs> this is not certainly look very better. Okay. Guess I'll have to use acid to dissolve the four hit points. It could happen. So, for the record, if you make it to Heasy Base, it's basically considered a successful run. <laughs> and there's no particular reason for this to be here. So... feeling about this one okay going high seems to pre a pretty decent strategy yikes that was scary oh fuck I always want to just hide here for like just a second <clears throat> I actually ran into a couple of tanks here I've gotten um gotten trapped on this plane before a couple of times had to like retreat I'm I'm glad on one level that this is not the case. But I think it would be pretty cool. Whoa. It'd be pretty cool if um if uh the pit boss kind of followed you. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm very glad that he doesn't and that you generally can get right out of his aggro. Ah, oh, fuck. Come on, come on, blood, 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 blood. I just need to start heading down. I don't have any bombs, though, that's the problem. This acid might be. Ooh. Shit. Okay, well, that's good. This is a good. Oh well, fuck. Okay. You take you take what you can get. You take what you can get. I actually have a lot of gold. Ed mana would be nice. This is good. Can we get electricity immunity? Auto aim. It's at least damage. Mmm. Jeez. I can't say no to Tinker with Wands everywhere. 
Explosion on drunk enemies. Um. Dang. He can't say no to Tinker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good, though. These are good perks. Really don't want to do it, but I think I need to go for just Lightning Bolt. It's the single most effective thing that is going on here. Do I have enough for this? This would be 400, 520. I do. I have enough for Downward Bolt Bundle. Plus, don't have enough for Auto Aim also. Uh, is there anything better? I mean, I can do... Plasma Beam Cross, that's a Colmy Killer, but you know what? I think that's thinking a little too far ahead. Just gonna say. How many charges do you get of Eldritch Portal? Five. That is ridiculous. I don't think that this needed to have charges, period, as a spell. I don't think that's necessary. The spell is already of limited utility. This is like just there to tempt you with its five charges. You only get five chances to use it. Bitch, I get zero chances to use that because it'll fucking kill you. Alright. Alright, let's see what the... Oh, that's not bad. Alright, so I'll probably have that and... Wait, 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 wait. I thought one of these was a trigger. Shit. What is the speed on this? Oh, it's pretty good. Charge is pretty good. I'm just this is just gonna be my this is my lightning bolt wand. That's that's all there is to it. I really want mana, but whatever. Ninety five three seconds. What does this look like? Wait, what? Does it not have enough mana? It should have enough mana, doesn't it? A hundred. Ninety. Five. As soon as it moves downwards. That is a very... strict interpretation of downwards. How fucking down does it need to be? Don't get me wrong, there are, like, spots on this level where I will use that, but... Alright, there's a little bit of leniency. Do I want bomb, or do I want a shotgun? Bombs are good, though. I really wish I had something to dig with. I mean, besides the bomb. I, I guess technically I can dig with this, but I think it's kind of dangerous. I think these bundles do have the ability to hurt you. And the lightning bolt for sure does. It for sure does. So, can I get by... How about this? Does this how fast does this fire? It's really slow. Well, once it runs out of mana, it's not that slow. It's pretty bad, though. Uh, do I want bolt? I think I think I want more digging than less. So I'm gonna go with lightning bolt, bolt bundle, bomb. The meat of an innocent creature! Alright, we're already doing bold bundle strategies.
Jesus. Fuck. Sniper. Jeez. How? You would really think. Oh my god. This is death. I'm not living through this. Oh, why is it still? His corpse is still undulating. I don't need to be taking those fucking chances. That's just dumb. This is dumb. Dumb people shit. <clears throat> this formation. Ah! Uh, that's why water is superior. Because water turns water turns things into water. I mean, I said it was going to happen. I wonder what it's raining. Beautiful. Holy shit, that was beautiful. We're clipping that. That was fantastic. That's the way you want it. That's the exact angle. I need to be a lot lower, a lot lower. So right before the second pillar. God, that's beautiful. Look at that shit. Still hit the ceiling, but it popped me in some water. Yikes. Purifying powder. Oh, blood, 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 blood. I don't know what purifying powder really is useful for. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh my god, this is a good gun. A skeevy? I thought that was an egg. <laughs> I actually kind of like how much water is going on right now. Okay, I'm still wet. I'm fine. I'm not. Well, you gotta love it. The shotgun. This is more offensive power than I usually have. When I'm going into easy base in this, uh, in this routing. God, and look at how well this digs, too. It's crazy. I mean, this is real stone here, too. It also digs through the audio channel. I'm sure it's completely blasting out. I do need, I do need to adjust the game volume. It's a little high. If I remember correctly. Getting, uh, minus 14 debs. Is that right? Does sound like a good... I don't know. I'll know when I listen to the feedback, the playback. 
I'm not even touching the mana on this thing either. Okay. Made it. I can actually break I can break the, the bridge here with this. Whoa. Got stuck there for a second. Just top it off with some water. The fuck are you doing here? Get out of here, you shitbags. Hold on, that actually might mean that it's open to the right. I need to check that. Close this dialogue. What's going on? Why are you? I still had my audio interface dialogue up. Could you roll back down and kill? Oh, it's not enough. All right, now what's going on over here? How did that happen? Was it really just coincidental that the enemy spawned here? I mean, I could dig through that, but it's highly tedious. Oh, hold on, hold on. That seems to explain something. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Still technically on the route as long as I don't take the holy mountain. Uh, I mean, blood is water is better than blood, as we've discussed. So it's also thicker, apparently, because it's denser. I was gonna say, where are all the damn fish? Oh, there they are. Let's listen to the music. I wish the music boxes had, um, like a couple of screens of... Wow. This must all been from the rain from before? Was it even raining in this seed to start with? I don't remember. A lot of water, though. A lot of water. <clears throat> yeah, and it formed, like, some ice here. That's actually a really good little spot to try to get into here. If I'm careful about this. I said careful. Oh, this doesn't dig. Shit, I thought I had spark bolt. eating away at my chances. All 
All right, I might even be able to get in there now. Yep. It's like, what are you doing? Look at how nicely this digs through. I wonder if this can dig into the pyramid, and I wonder if this can dig into the... Um, I wonder how well th if this can dig into the earth essence and I wonder if it can dig into the pyramid and additionally I kind of wish that the pyramid were a little bit more involved in the early shit I'm trying to get the kick down in the early surface like quest stuff <clears throat> getting a little bit worse at that I think well, I think it's going to dig... I think it'll dig into the essence of Earth. I don't really have... Well, I do have the ability. Once I have essence of Earth, I can get the evil eye. Does this make me go any faster? I don't think so. It just makes... It's just making sure that there's an annoying sound... Happening non-stop. <laughs> this is the most tortured definition of pit skip. But hey. What are definitions for if not to torture? Oh yeah, this is like fungus stuff, right? Do I get sick from this? No, 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 no. You gotta kick it to the... Yeah, you gotta kick it to the... Um... Desert. Okay. Let me try to do that, actually. Shit. Fuck it. Come on. I guess you... Nope, 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 nope. Shit. Let me try kicking it over. If you get this onto the desert sands, I think it... No! No, 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 no. Come with me. Come with me. Oh. Uh, well. I hope there's another one. I think it starts growing weird fungus. Yeah, here's another one. And there's some more. There we go. Okay. Nope. You are going the wrong direction. This is FOMP. Fungus over mountain percent. Okay. Are you growing? What's going on? Do I need to combine with this with something? It's not water, right? Hey, what the fuck is going on? There we go. Nope, stop, stop, stop. Jeez. No, stop. No. Oh my god. No. All right. This is the last chance. Still dealing with okay. Now it's now it's an object. It's become a static body object. It's liberated from background. Fucking tree. Actually, the tree might have been helping. Don't despawn. Okay, it's pretty bruised. That's good. Bruised is good. 
Do I need to get down to, like, this sand here? I think it might be. I don't know if that's succeeding at bruising. There we go. It's getting bruised. It's getting splooged all over the place. Yeah, that's great. Like to see that. I don't think this is doing anything. Although, look at what's below me. If this ain't fucking... Oh, no, wait. It's just... It looks like something. But in fact, it was nothing. This is an incredible digging wand. All right, let me continue. I think something is missing. Maybe you need to start with a little bit of fungus. I thought the weird fungus could just grow in the desert. There's there's something missing from the equation. I wonder if I have enough water to activate the teleport. I might. And I can dig. I don't think I do. I think even fully full. I think you need more than... I think you need more than one flask's worth of water. Also, this is blood. Damn it. No. I'm trying to pick up more of this shit. That's just evaporating. Uh. Well, I'm not succeeding. Just kind of getting stuck. I'm trying to make a little um, depression there so that the water would roll down to an individual spot. I think you need about three flasks worth of water to activate the portal. What would be really cool is if there was like a single perk in this as like kind of an imitation of the Holy Mountain. <clears throat> And maybe one room, but like not a safe room that you can do edit with wands. Edit wands. What the fuck is this? Oh my god. Why? What was that about? Now, I tried fighting um, Pyramid Boss in Nightmare Mode. I think he must be significantly harder. You know, I'm kind of torn because part of me wants to keep the spirit of this alive and just keep doing runs. But, like, you do something like this where you have some longer runs, and you don't want to throw that shit away. I don't want to take risks. This is completely antithetical to this, this challenge. <laughs> so look at how long I have to walk across the desert to do all this crap. This is the true cost. <clears throat> the true cost of early game power is the utter frustration that is um, going all the way across the desert and then dying to something stupid. Now, dying to something stupid is normal in this game, but usually that is counterbalanced by you know, it being... Oh, wait, is the air blocked off in here? Yes, it is. Um, 
you know, it's counterbalanced by being a quick run or just fast paced. Not this like meditative, slow, peaceful walk across the surface. Also with the more nightmare mode runs that I've been doing recently, the surface is a lot more populated. Not that that should be a surprise. I probably should do a few more um, surface walks in nightmare mode because there's some interesting stuff going on with the terrains and the biomes. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. God, this wand is hot. Gonna be pretty pissed if, uh, if I can't dig. The majority of the damage that I've taken so far is from the speedrun strat from the very beginning. So, still doing pretty good. Pretty good. This feels like a weird and different shape than it normally is. And the light here, what is up with the lighting? Okay, now it's fixed. But there's some weird lighting stuff going on. Okay, it does. It does dig. kind of clear it out a little bit because you don't want to have too close of contact with the walls because that's how you get explosion for dinner polish off some more of that yep 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 sorry <laughs> like a very epic drum solo. up to three orbs. And the music machine is dead. Like, that hand exists. Those statues exist basically... Oh, fuck. Exist basically only to keep the music machines from falling into the ground. And you see how effective that was. I think it just has something to do with how objects, like, render in place. And as awesome as this game is, it does tend to forget objects exist. Like, just... Oh, did that tablet roll off screen? Yeah, what tablet? What fucking tablet? It's gone forever. Okay. Tanner Kiwi. Um, purifying powder. My God, this is not. This is not a speed run. Just it just isn't. I've got two of the essences. Uh, well, I mean, I've got two of the elemental stones. It's not a speed run. It's not even close to a speed run. It it's, it started off as a speed run. It wanted to be a speed run. And then some water started pouring out, and I saw enemies in the uh, the cavern orb room. So, you know, now I'm choosing between items. Um, I probably want to get rid of the tablet, which means I should have just... Hmm, that's fine. I could... Oh my god, I cannot kick the tablet! 
God. Okay, that is the lesson that we learn when it comes to the Tenor Kiwi. Is we do not kick. We do not kick. Causes earthquake. There's the lava pit. I feel like I want to rewatch that video. I think it was a Fury Forge video about why the random spell times one is not a garbage spell. How I think I've watched it like two or three times, and it just doesn't. That particular strategy doesn't seem to stick. Not that um, I want to pick up more water too. Yeah, there needs to be a little bit more something in the pyramid. That's for Noita too. Holy shit, would I buy it? I would buy the hell out of Noita too. And then proceed to complain about how it isn't as good as this one. I mean, but honestly, they would they would add a ton of stuff. Not that there isn't already a ton of stuff in this game. But one thing I will say, um, having played through probably probably 40% of Terraria now, I mean, through a run of Terraria, that's not to say 40% of like everything the game has to offer, obviously. Um, there are some things in Noita that I think, number one, it does take from Terraria a lot more than I had originally thought. It's kind of like a Terraria clone, but with many, many twists and amazing things going on with it. Um, don't at me. This is probably my favorite game, okay? But it's true. There's there's a lot of this that it takes and builds off of kind of the foundation that Terraria is set. Uh, Terraria also has like kind of a more of a narrative to it. That's maybe a little bit unfair, but it has more of a linear progression and like things kind of hold together. This is like a wild, open, esoteric game. And it's like exploring occult secrets on your own with no guidance. And it has just as epic, if not more of an epic kind of game content to it. But I think that there's a few things that it could take. See, look, this is like a solid foundation. Maybe it's just the fact that it's, uh, nope, not kicking. Remember that we're not kicking. We're not activating. That is a temptation when you have the Tanner Kiwi. Um, I feel like there could be... These games just feel... It feels very different than Terraria. Terraria just has nothing at all in common with how this game has, like, the emotional tone of it or anything like that. Like, in this game, you know, in Terraria, you're kind of constantly challenged by difficult things. And in this game, um, you're really only challenged by new worlds, parallel worlds, and, um, like, alternate, like, new game plus. Terraria is kind of constantly throwing things at you to keep, like a, like, a real video game that's just, like, keeping you challenged and things on par with your power level. In this game, your power level just goes out of control, and you really only fear, like, polymorphine and maybe teleportadium because it can take you into polymorphine. Um... Which is not to say that it's not... That, the, that doesn't make this game not as good. And it doesn't make it better either. It's just incredibly different. You know, it's like taking the same sort of video game template and then doing something that is not even comprehensible. With it. Something completely different. So I can actually go... Under the tree, but well, I could go under the tree. I should go under the tree. Have these guys already appeared? 
Fuck. Why am I doing this? Okay. So we can dig with this. Let me move stuff. To facilitate the digging. I wouldn't mind picking up I wouldn't mind picking up some of the notes, the music notes. There's apparently been a little bit of a discovery of how good those can be in terms of damage dealing, which I have yet to see. Though I really haven't tried putting modifiers on them. There's something about like either the mana cost or the timing that makes them really good for carrying damage modifiers. Did not mean to drop that there. Okay. All right. Let's pick up the evil eye, and then I think I'll head back here and kind of call the stream at that. Um, and then I can sort of try to figure out what I want to do with this stream, which is now promising interesting shit because I had been on kind of like this little speed run kick and now now this I've been presented with an opportunity and that opportunity oh what am I going to get rid of well I probably want to drop the purifying powder the water flask, it's just a mistake to get rid of the water flask. Whoops. Sorry about that. Although that might be nothing compared to the <laughs> constant shotgun blast. What is the actual name of this spell? Triplicate Bolt. I don't know if I've ever called it Triplicate Bolt. Since literally the shotgun guy uses this spell. I mean, who are we kidding here? Um, okay. I can drop the key, Skibi. What the fuck do I want to... What do you do with the purifying pouch? I am going to try to drop that. Oh, why? That's a mistake. It's a mistake. It's a mistake. I'm going to drop this. It can't break. And as long as I'm not too far away from it, it shouldn't despawn. Although the lighting effects have been doing weird stuff, so we'll see. We'll see. This game isn't too bad about despawning stuff. It it's usually waits until you've got a ton of parallel worlds. Until you've like got a super big game world file. However, it also just does unpredictable stuff sometimes. And there's no real way to tell what's going on. And when you're going to be... When you're going to encounter something weird. Something despawning. Okay, it's still there. All right. Well, I think I'm going to call it there. Uh, this was an interesting development for what were going to be just speed runs. Um, I'm going to sort of take an assessment of what he got here and see where we go next. I mean, do we get all the elemental stones? Uh, do we want to review like, what we can do with the quest lines? 
Um, all right. Yeah. So uh, thanks for checking me out. I will hope to see you in the next stream. And uh, peace out. I will see you all next time.